Hi, greetings in the name of the Lord. This is Pastor Neil. I hope you're fine and I believe God is with you and protected you for all the things in your life. And I believe that God is faithful to you and gave you good health and provided you everything in the last uh, month of the July. And I believe that this month in August, God is going to bless you and God is going to be with you and God is going to protect you. God is going to uh, keep you safe and give you all the things you needed physically, spiritually and uh, emotionally, mentally, anything that you may longing and looking for this month. God is going to bless you and give you with a blessing from heaven all the things you needed. And I want to encourage you with the word of God today, as especially the Sunday and the August first today and I want to tell you people of God how much God cares for you and me how much God loves you for you and me is so much because God has stored so many good things for you and God has stored so many blessings for you and me especially that the Holy Spirit which you it came for every one life he brought the word of god he brought the living word and he brought the precious word for our life so that the word of god can uh, open your heart or word of god can bring you to healing in your life the word of god can change your life and the presence of jesus is everywhere the presence of jesus is right now with you the presence of god with you wherever you are and that's why when we talk about jesus when we speak speak about Jesus he brings the life to your life especially I'm talking of the life today why because the, that's important on, on how you live the life today are you living by yourself or Christ is in you or Christ is living in you so we need to think about that but one thing that in Christianity life in a in a in walking with God we need to one thing to learn to walk with God is important when you die for everything that Jesus power will make manifest in you greater when you die for everything that means worldly and physically a lot of things a lot of things has to sacrifice when you sacrifice when you die for all these things Christ is going to come into your life and he's going to make you live a real life that's the word when a Christian really die for sin and die for for sinful life everything that Jesus is going to come and make you to live a living life that's the eternal life we need an eternal life that means when a, when a person die for anything this which Jesus don't like and which the Holy Spirit don't like and when we die for all this thing we will see the work of God a supernatural power of God and we will see the miracle working hand of God we will see the the glorious hand of God that's what important today I want to talk to you in John chapter 12 the book of John chapter chapter 12 and I want to read you a wonderful word of God Jesus talking about the death dying dying for something what you will die for something you know people died for many many things in the in the war people died uh, the soldiers went and died or maybe some of the people sacrificed for something freedom fighters or something and you may see that but something people of God one thing in in our daily life you know Christian life in walking with God we need to die we need to die for Christ then only you will see the greater revival with you coming with you and take you can take the revival with you you can take the power of God with you you can take the miracle hand of God with you when you die so in John chapter 12 I want to read for you John chapter 12 and verses 24 John chapter 12 verses 24 Jesus talking wonderful word is saying truly truly i say to you unless a grain of the wheat falls into the earth and dies this word is saying unless unless the grain of the uh, wheat falls into the earth and dies it has to fall and die then it remains alone but if it dies it bears much fruit hallelujah if it dies which it bears much fruit that's what jesus time it has to die so that means your life if you want to see the glory of god you must die 
if you want to see the work of the power of God in your life, you must die. If you want to see the revival coming with you, you must die for Christ, die for everything to, to sacrifice and give up everything so that you can live a life. That's what Jesus is talking. So you must ready to die for Christ. So unless, unless he says that, truly, truly, I said to you, unless a grain of the wheat falls into the earth and, and die, it remains alone. So when it's die, it remains alone. So that means when you, when you die, that means uh, it remains alone. You will not have anything. Look at the Joseph life. He, his life is like a died for, for Christ. So he has become a lonely man. Look at the Jacob. He became a lonely man. He died. He died. You know, he died for things, uh, for the godly things. He died. So, but God raised him in a godly way, in a good way. That's why gee, the Bible scriptures, word of God is encouraging us that Jesus saying to us. So that's what clearly says. But, it's, but if it's die, it bears much fruit. Do you want to be a fruitful ministry? Do you want to have a, a fruitful church? Do you want to have a fruitful prayer life? Do you want to have a fruitful uh, uh, minister, prophet or apostle, anything? One thing people of God, you must die. That's what Jesus died for you and me. He died. when G Look at the life of Jesus Christ. Jesus came in the shed and he died for everything. He took it. He said, son of man don't have the house to sleep. Son of man don't have the place to lay uh, or, or lay down anything. See, that's what dying. Dying is not just, okay, I'm doing this one, that one, so I die. No. Sacrifice your life to God. In Romans chapter 12, the Bible is saying that. And the 12, 1 is saying what the Bible is saying dying you know offering our bodies as a living sacrifice the the scripture says the wonderful word of god that's what we need people of god no i want to look at for you long roman chapter 12 and one verses one he's saying that i i appeal to you therefore brothers by uh, by the mercies of god to present your bodies as a living sacrifice holy and acceptable to god with your spiritual worship praise the lord and he's saying that two uh, to verses 2 uh, Romans chapter 12 verses 2 do not be confirmed uh, confirmed to the world but be transformed by the renew of your mind that by the test testing you may be discern what is the will of God this is good and acceptable and for fair. That means saying that this is the proper worship to God. This is the proper way of living life to offer your life to God. Today, people of God, if you want to see the greater miracles, you know, if you look at the many men of God, the so servant of God, they die for Christ. Samuel, the, the prophet Samuel, Eliza, and you see the Elisha and Apostle Paul, Peter, and many people in the Bible, or many, many Many, many servants of God, those missionaries who laid down their life for Christ, they went to the places where there is no gospel, they went to the mountain, they went to the Central uh, America, they went to Africa, they went to Asia, they went to the forest, jungle, and they, they, they took the gospel to many places. They have no place to sleep, they have no place, to, they have no cell phones, they have no airplanes, they have no communication uh, material things that we have in these days right now. So they died for Christ they sacrificed their life so people of God today we have so many technologies we have so many things but people still not able to do the ministry effectively and they still uh, struggle to do the great ministry a revival the fire and the glory to bring down in the earth again I wish I would like to see again those days of God the days of Eliza the days of Samuel the days of Jeremiah the days of Isaiah we need that things in our life today amen people of god but god is ready to use us god is ready to uh, give us that power again to such a powerful like a john who sees the revelations and the, uh, uh, seeing the visions and revealing the revelation in the book of revelation we see that how god revealed to him and time we need a true prophets of god we need a true servant of god we need a real people who hear the word of god that's what god want to do but if 
you die for Christ, you will experience this power. You will see the glory of God in life. That's what Jesus is saying, die for Christ. And in 25, he's saying in verses 25, Jesus said, whoever loves his life, lost it. And whoever hates his life in, in this world will keep it for eternal life. So that means you must hate the worldly things in your life. If you want to see the heavenly things coming in and working through your life, you must hate the worldly thing, whoever hates his life in this world. So that means you have to sacrifice so many things. You have to uh, give up many things in your life. Of course, in this technology, we need some things like media, different things, social medias, whatever to reach out to people. I'm not talking about you give up this thing, but certain things, some things that which we, the Holy Spirit reveal you. The power of God, the word of God will reveal you what needs to give up fleshly things worldly things all those things when you give up and God definitely will work on your life so that's why saying the eternal life you have that's why Jesus came he said if you believe if you believe in me and he said in John chapter 3 John chapter 3 16 John 3 16 what is saying God so loved the world and he gave his only one begotten son whoever believes in they will have an eternal life that means love Jesus then the more than the worldly things love Jesus and the love the word of God love the presence of God love the Holy Spirit and love the work of God then you will see the power of the living God in you glory to Jesus people of God that's what God want to work in you but I want to tell you if you really want to see the glory of God and you you must die that's what Paul Apostle Paul talks always and he died for Christ and he, he sacrificed his life for you know God you know I want to read you one more word uh, in uh, first Corinthians chapter 15 if you read the the book of first Corinthians chapter 15 and uh, Paul is talking something a uh, wonderful word of God chapter 15 36 if you read the chapter chapter 16 uh, verses 36 saying first uh, Corinthians First Corinthians chapter 15, 36, but someone will, uh, uh, 36, okay, uh, sorry, 36. You foolish person, what you show uh, does not come to life unless it dies. Praise God. He's saying that wh what you show does not come to life unless it dies. Praise Jesus. He's saying that, uh, so if you, whatever you show, and uh, whatever you give it unless it die it won't come to life that's what jesus said unless it die it won't come to life you said uh, the paul is saying you foolish you foolish person what you show does not come to life unless it dies so that means it has to die so many people say, I gave my life to Jesus. Very good, praise God. You gave life to Jesus, but you're showing, you giving your life to Jesus. You're showing, but he has to die. You have to die for Christ. That means not only giving your life to Jesus, that you have to die for everything. So many things. I believe Holy Spirit will tell you what to give up in your life. I don't know all the weakness, all the struggles you may go into right now. But when you die, when you show right giving, it's not only giving money. Your life is a giving. Amen. Jesus, that's why God so loved the world and he gave. That's what's showing. God showed his son into your life. So uh, God gave his son into your life. So you must give your life to Jesus. That means not only giving money, when you give your life to Jesus, showing the seed, like uh, offering yourself to God, a living sacrifice. That's what I talked about uh, Romans chapter 12, 1. Offer your bodies as a living sacrifice. Today you will offer offering. Maybe you can offer the millions, Maybe you can offer the thousand, maybe you can offer the hundreds or whatever you may offer. But I tell you, your life must be offered as a living sacrifice. When you offer your life as a living sacrifice, that means you have to die there. Amen. Hallelujah. So when you give your life to Jesus, when you come to Jesus,
see that you have to die on that place. You have to die on that place of altar so that Jesus can bring you life. That's what Paul is, is talking about. And it's, it's, that's what Paul is saying very clearly. You foolish person, what you show uh, does not come to life unless it die. The same thing Jesus said that unless the wheat a grain a fall and die and became a lonely it will not bring life so you see that's what holy spirit one grain one wheat fall on the ground and die and you see how many wheat producing and how many grain is producing the one like for example you see the rice and the wheat and many things anything people of god it brings the life your life will be like that sometimes god allow things in your life so that you think that oh why these things happening that's what god is helping you preparing you to die for many things and god will speak to you so many things in that situation that you have to die and John in John chapter 12 and if you read if you read the book of the John chapter 12 I want to read one more word uh, again is talking about that John chapter 12 uh, 25 same thing I will continue John chapter 12 25 Jesus said whoever loves his life lose it and whoever hates his life uh, whoever hates his life in in this world will keep it for eternal life praise God glory to Jesus so must love Jesus people of God so you should not love yourself and you are ready to give your life to Jesus I want to tell you people of God when you offer your life to God and that's what God will bring the glory into your life so in in the uh, in 1990 uh, 1997 I gave my life to Jesus in 1998 I went to uh, uh, training with the youth with a mission and God has touched many things to dying for Christ since then my life was not turned back to the worldly way since in the 1990 1997 I gave my life to Jesus of course I have some battles of course I gone through some struggles but God helped me and uh, strengthened me with the word and he taught me things to overcome many things but God built at me that not to look back the worldly things which I used to uh, have the enjoy before the worldly way of things those pleasures and all those things uh, so many things worldly way up all I gave up smoking drinking drugs all the things I gave up and today I have the wonderful word of God and I have the Holy Spirit and I see the many many things God has did in our life in our ministry and which many people receive the Holy Spirit healing and deliverance the power of God and many things we have seen people of God that's what Paul is talking about our life and that's what Jesus is saying uh, uh, into our life people of God and uh, Galatians I want to talk to you one more the word of God the book of Galatians Paul is saying here and chapter 2 Galatians chapter 2 let's read the Galatians chapter 2 uh, verses 20 and uh, wonderful word of God is Paul is saying here I have been crucified with Christ that's what dying dying is what with Christ you need to be with Christ when you die you sell the grain fall on the ground and die became lonely so you gave your life to Jesus and you die for everything and you've been with God because your life is hidden in Christ that's what Bible is saying praise God glory to Jesus people of God I want to, I want to uh, read one more word right now, uh, but I will come back again in Galatians. And if you read the Colossians, Colossians chapter 3, and it's saying that uh, the Bible is saying here, uh, if uh, chapter 3 verses 1, if then you have been raised with the Christ, seek the, seek the thing that are above what Christ is seated at the right hand of God. And three and and two verses two set your minds on things that are above not on the things that are on the uh, on the earth for you Christ is in God because saying that for you have died and your life is hidden in Christ our God hallelujah praise God your life is hidden once you die your life is hidden in Christ God hallelujah so that means your life is with Jesus your life is with God that means Holy Spirit is only in control Holy Spirit is only is in you and will lead you and guide you that's what Paul is saying uh, he's saying here 
uh, 220. Now I come back to the Galatians chapter 2 verses 20. Paul is saying, I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ who lives in me. And the life I know I live in the flesh, living by faith in the Son of God, who loves me and gave himself for me. Praise God. Glory to Jesus, people of God. That means we have to die for Christ. So when you die for Christ, Jesus is in you. Christ is in you. That's what Paul is confidently saying there. The, the one who is in Christ, he's in me. So the Christ is within me. The Christ is me. I have been crucified. If you want to have a Jesus, you must crucify yourself. In Galatians chapter 5. And Galatians chapter 5. And the Bible clearly saying here, Galatians chapter 5 verses 24. I want to read a, a good word here. Praise God is saying here, is talking about the fleshly things, fruit of the spirit. But I am 25 says, if we live by the spirit, uh, uh, and verses 25, the Galatians chapter uh, 5, 24. Chapter 5, 21. And those who belong to Christ Jesus. So saying that, those who belong to Jesus Christ, who are the belongs to Jesus Christ? You died for sin, you died for everything, and you gave life to Jesus. You became a child of God, you became a servant of God or whoever, and you belong to God. And those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with it, uh, passion and desire. So, with the passionly, you must crucify yourself. Hallelujah. That's what dying. That's what Paul is saying. I died for Christ. I died in Christ. People of God. What a wonderful word of God. Now come back to the John chapter 12. I want to continue again. Uh, uh, one more word is saying that Jesus uh, uh, talking here and 26. If anyone serves me, he must follow me. Praise God. If you want to serve God, that means serving God is doing the will of God. Hallelujah. Serving God is the doing the will of God. Serving God is doing what God says. Serving God, listening what He says. Serving God, doing what is in the heart of God. Serving God, doing what is in the heart of God and the mind of God. That's what the serving. Hallelujah. If anyone serves me, he must follow me and wherever I am, there will my servant be also. That's what I'm saying. You know, wherever Jesus presence is there you are there hallelujah because you will go where God want you will do what God want you will see things what God want and where I am there will my servant be also praise the Lord if anyone serves me the father will honor me God will honor you father will honor you people of God so serving God is doing the will of God. Serving God is doing what is in the heart of God. Serving God doing what is in the mind of God and heart of God. Serving God going where God want. Serving God dying where Jesus want you to die. Serving God give up where God want you to give up. Then you will see the glory of God and you will see the mighty wonderful things of God in your life. Praise Jesus and praise the Lord. That's what you will see the eternal life and the glorious things in your life. So now Paul is saying in Acts chapter 21, the book of Acts 21, I want to read you uh, uh, one more word of God. Acts chapter 21. Uh, verses 13 21 verses uh, 13 and the Paul is saying here uh, talking about a death 13 uh, now we read here thank you Jesus then Paul answered whatever you doing weeping and breaking my heart for I am ready ready not only to be not only to be in prison but even to die in Jerusalem for the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. See, Paul knows he will die. Jesus knows he will die. Peter knows that he will die. Jesus revealed him already his death. You know, people of God, Paul is saying, I know that I will be in, uh, in, in the prison. I will be beat. I will be beaten by people. I will be uh, killed. 
you know that's what dying for Christ ready to die for Christ ready to dying for Christ today people have got so many things in our life so many people they love so many things the pleasure fleshly things or uh, many things worldly thing that they love to be uh, you know spending a lot of money for this and that one pleasure worldly pleasure things and all these things are you dying for Christ are you dying for somebody's soul to preach the gospel to save somebody life people have God go and sacrifice your life to God and all for some time I go to missions you know uh, the Bible saying you know uh, in Matthew chapter chapter 19 uh, the book of Matthew chapter 19 let's read uh, Matthew chapter 19 verses 29 Matthew chapter uh, 19 verses 29 that Jesus is saying here word Uh, if you return him and everyone who who has left houses or brothers or sisters our father uh, our father or mother or children our lands for my name shake will receive a hundred folds and I will inherit and inherit eternal life hallelujah see and they will have a eternal life glory to Jesus people of God Jesus said anyone that means dying sacrificing for my sin leaving your family uh, going or anything things like that for the sake of God for the kingdom of God to preach the gospel you will have the great reward in heaven you will have a great reward in this earth you will have a favor of God from God from the people glory to Jesus people of God sometime I go I go to India as a mission I stay in a six months or three months why I'm not just going because just I want to enjoy the holidays or and do something I'm going to preach the gospel I travel sometime you know many things you know I still I still wore I still won a small van it's not I don't have a luxury car of you know I, I don't I'm not against to the good car condition car you can travel preach the gospel for it's okay nothing wrong with that but I'm saying since uh, for many years we have been uh, having a, a van which I travel hundreds and hundreds of kilometers in that van going to different states in India preaching the gospel sometimes it's not easy for my back to sit long time it's stress and it's hard but I sacrifice I'm happy I'm 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 happy whatever God gives me so that's what dying for God so that's what dying for sometimes I go to the mountains you know brand churches we go there and we have no internet one week we will not have internet no communication with the world anything nothing sometimes we go to preach the gospel even one time we went to the mountain and the villagers came and attacked us they tore the they broke our car windows and the the beaten our pastors the beat us and the told us if you don't leave we're going to kill you see that's what dying for Christ we face many things like that you know you sacrifice for Christ sake you know we we don't have some time I go to the mountain place we don't have a good bed like I have I have the things in the house in Germany and uh, sometimes we don't have good food the things I eat uh, other other places we have to sacrifice many places many times I went to Africa many places uh, I had a uh, no good food no good place to sleep but I just I am I'm happy uh, to preach the gospel that's what dying for Christ for souls Jesus came for the purpose to give life to you and the, so that we can go and give life to somebody today I want to encourage you people of God dying for Christ Christ is important when you die for Christ you will see the glory of God so that's why I see many times I see the power of God works in our meeting the glory of God works in our meeting people set free deliver from the demons the power of God set them free free people they receive the holy spirit who don't have a holy spirit and the salvation and many things we have seen people of god so many things people of god today i want to tell you when you what you show it must die hallelujah what you show it must die so that means you give your life to jesus and die for christ and you will live with jesus you will have an eternal life you will have a glorious life today i want to encourage you with this word of god people of god wherever you are right now if you want to see the glory of god do the will of god if you want to see jesus powerfully moving in your life through you die for christ unless you die what do you show unless you die you want to see the glory of god you don't see the glory of god 
you have to see the glory of god if you want to see god's power a revival the glory of god is coming and touching people through your life give and surrender your life to jesus so that power of god want to manifest through you god want to use you god want to do miracles wonders through your life god want to use you to prophesy to somebody people life god want to use you even to raise the dead god want to use you even to do the things like eliza did even things like jesus did you will do greater things that i did because if you believe in me that's mean people of god die for christ when you die for christ you will see the things happen like uh, like joshua prayed and uh, the sun stopped and the same things like eliza prayed the rain stopped and rain came uh, and things like that and samuel prayed and the, the hand of god came why these people they carry the such anointing why these people carry such a power of god in their life why these people see jesus is alive in their ministry in their life if you want to see jesus is alive in your life in your ministry you must die in your ministry in your church there are things god want that to die things will you able to give up will you able to give up your comfortable place your comfortable life your comfortable things what you looking serving god is not just you know two three years you learn something and running here and there and doing everything okay i know all the things now i am in a big man i'm a pastor a pastor or so and so i'm a man of god don't put the titles like that die for christ jesus is the one who gives the title to you amen jesus is the one who honor you he said my father will honor my father will honor people of god jesus will give you strength jesus will give you power jesus will give you glory and power to your life so believe in jesus and he will strengthen you he will touch you he will change your life he will uh, give you all the things in life people of god surrender your life to jesus what a wonderful god what a glorious god we serve today we are serving the living god that's why jesus came to touch your life to touch our lives and he want to change you he want to bring the changes in your life he want to bring the glorious things in your life he want to bring the good things in your life he want to bring the wonderful things in your life surround your life to god and he is going to use you greatly he is going to use you amazingly he is going to use you use you in a blessing way saron right now wherever you are give up everything give up come out of your comfortable life come out of your comfortable thing don't dream i want to have a this one that one this one this one first you serve god first you die for christ everything will come everything god will come god will give you if you need if you need a car to travel to the ministry god will give you but don't go to ministry to have a car if you need something very good things whatever don't come to the ministry to have the things that is not serving god that is not dying for christ people of god whether you have or not go and preach the gospel whether you have or not do the will of god whether you have or not do the work of the holy spirit many things we have to sacrifice something in my life there are something which broke my heart i have to give up i have to give up. it it's not easy for me it's break my heart it's like a, a it's like a painful for me but god told me to give it so i gave it i gave it away that is a painful but die i died in that place for christ people of god i know i have a wonderful ministry in the future i know that God has prepared for me great multitude of people so that I can try and I can win hundreds and souls for the kingdom of God people of God serve God effectively serve God with the power of the holy spirit serve God with the holy spirit serve God with the mighty power of God serve God with the word of God God want to move God want to work through you in a supernaturally miracle way give your life to God surround your life to Jesus today and he is going to use you greatly are you dying for Christ 
are you giving up or are you loving your comfortable places sometimes god want you to go some places sometimes god want you to be with some people is the serving serving is not only in the pulpit serving is not only shouting screaming to serving god not only just uh, uh, stay one place serving somebody who is in need look at that man in the good samaritan he was not a preacher that's what he served god he served jesus he served god that's what jesus said people of god serve god then god will use you if you want to see the power of the ministry simply don't come you have to have a compassion you need to have a, a, a good zeal good heart for people lost compassion for the dying compassion for the broken compassion for the lost people suffering people all this thing you have to be like jesus you have to go like jesus you have to walk like jesus do ministry like jesus then you will see the glorious ministry in your life hallelujah so many people today they don't have a platform they don't have a, a good basement but they want the wonderful powerful ministry yes good to have a hungry and longing but where is the foundation where is the basic uh, uh, laid down the foundation line did you die for christ dying for christ since almost uh, more than 23 years this is nothing for my life just the small small part of my experience i'm still learning so many things i uh, god allow me to die for, for many things sometimes i have no food to eat i eat the bananas sometime when i was in india some missions and i have no place to sleep on the bed i slept in the floor mat in india many many days sometimes i have no money to eat a good food i save the money and i eat in the cheapest places and the street side cheap food or something uh, so and so many thing that's that's what dying for christ sometime uh, uh, my sand is broke uh, i have to stitch with a needle something i walk sometime i walk miles to preach the gospel when i have no bike even i have no cycle in the beginning my ministry my life dying people of god die for christ but i never complain i don't have cycle i don't have car today if you tell some people uh, to go on there they complain you know we don't have money and we start asking people begging people give me offering give me this one that one trust god serve god he will provide you have faith in god the one who called you is a faithful god he will take care of you don't look people don't uh, beg people people of god look god serve god have god die for christ everything that's what jesus said don't 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 worry about what to eat what to drink what to wear seek his kingdom and righteousness all things will be given unto you that's what when you die for christ you will seek the god's kingdom and you will do the things of god and you will you will do the will of god jesus want to change your life give up give up today whatever you may be in your life give up if you want to see revival in your church in your life or in your ministry die you must die be a servant hearted be a humble yourself be sacrifice for everything what jesus ask you there are things god ask me to sacrifice many things i gave up many things i sacrifice which i i work hard i i work hard i lay down my life there i spend a lot of money i i put a lot of investment in things but god told me some things i need to give up then i have to sacrifice like abraham god told abraham to give isaac in the same way some things i have to sacrifice doing will of god doing what god says that's important for life today i want to bless you with this word of god in this month of august god will speak to you many thing to give him surrender your life to god and god definitely will use you supernaturally power i wish i would like to see people uh, raising that and do a wonderful great powerful ministry like a jesus ministry like a samuel like a jeremiah like a isaiah like a liza like all these people peter and apostle paul people of god yes god want to use us amen god want to do these things but let's let us die 
let us die for Christ. He will do great things. And wherever you are right now, I want to pray with you. Just say, God, please forgive me for I'm loving worldly things, loving more what you say than other things, Lord. Holy Spirit, I need your fire. Holy Spirit, I need your power. Come with the power and the fire in my life, God. Right now, I surrender my life to you, God. I'm giving up. Say to God, I give up those things, that thing, this thing. People. Give up your pride. Give up your uh, things, what you like. Give up your uh, own boasting yourself. Give up your own name glorifying. Give up uh, your honoring yourself. Put God first in your life. Let God, glory to God. Let glory go to God. Let Jesus be a, a main friend of your life. Then your ministry, your title, your name, that Jesus is the uh, main thing. Father, I pray that everyone right now who is listening, God. Holy Spirit right now, come with the power and the fire of God and the anointing of the Holy Spirit right now. We the supernaturally come. The power of God right now. Anointing right now. I release the anointing God. Jesus I pray. Let them. Willing to give. Give up. Let them willing to show this. Seed so that this. Un, the seed must be die. Then it come to life. When you. Whatever you show. If you die. It come to life. That's what Jesus said. The grain falls on the ground and die and alone the wheat it comes a great life your life will be like that maybe you wonder why my life is not fruitful my ministry is not fruitful my prayer life on gifts are not operating maybe anything i tell you die for christ die for christ all the worldly things fleshly thing worldly coughing the worldly things what people do and you doing like that what other people doing, you're doing like that is not what dying for Christ. Listening the Holy Spirit. Listening the word of God. Listening what God says. Doing the will of God. Going what God says to go. Doing what is in the heart of God and the mind of God. That is the will of God. That's dying. I pray in Jesus' name. Father, come with your power and the miracle hand of God right now. In Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. God bless you people. I hope you enjoy this word of God. And if you have any prayer requests, please follow these four numbers. You can see there on the screen. So call, call me, feel free on WhatsApp. Or visit our website. Or visit our Facebook page. Our YouTube channels for more messages, worship songs. And uh, you will hear it. Thank you for listening. And uh, I'm looking forward to hearing from you. God bless you. Have a nice day.